Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing a quick guide on how to craft a gauntlet. So this is definitely going to be one of the more complex guides that I've done. However, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, but there's probably going to be a lot of information being thrown at you. But the first thing you need to do is complete chapter five. That means killing the desert world boss and also doing the realizing your potential part three, which is just getting 5,000 power, being awakened level 15, and then getting 100,000 XP. So first things first, you want to come out to the bridge near the UNDC East Point. And then we're just going to go right underneath. You're going to see a guy here with a bunch of gravestones around him. His name is Karun, but we're going to call him Karen because that's what I read the first time I saw his name. Anyways, after interacting with him, you just pay him 1,000 shards and 10,000 gold, and he'll take you off to a magical little world. So after speaking to Karen, you're going to be brought back to a very familiar place with a bunch of women standing in front of you. You want to talk to Kratoria, obviously as she has the giant exclamation point above her head. Now after all that is done, you can speak to one of these four women, and each of them has a different gauntlet quest. I believe every gauntlet quest you requires the same resources to actually create the gauntlet. It's just an aesthetic thing. I guess we'll call these priestesses just for the sake of me having a name for them. And I'll put up what priestess gives what gauntlet in the description below. Here you can also see a visual of what every gauntlet looks like, both uncharged and fully charged. Now there is a catch. Once you speak to one of these maidens and they give you the quest, after hitting accept, they're going to pop up with a window. You have to pay them to actually be able to do this quest. You have to pay them 50,000 shards, a gold bar, and an engineer plan before you can even accept the quest. Now you might be wondering, how the hell do I get gold bars? Well actually it's rather simple. You go to your quests, go to side quests, and just type in bar. You can see that some of the quest rewards here are bronze bars. Now the quests are really straightforward, you know, deliver 50 lobsters, kill X amount of whatever enemy. It's nothing really complicated, just a lot of grinding really. Now you might be wondering, Ike, where do I even get these quests? What quest giver has them? Well let me show you. We'll start with Freedom City here. When you look on the map, look for this little icon that looks like three people inside of a target. Both Freedom City and Acropolis Desert have this icon. After you speak with him, he'll charge you 1,000 shards and 10,000 gold to go inside to speak with his boss. After you pay the guard's fee, regardless of it being in the city or in the desert, they'll take you into the building where the dealer is. The dealer has a quest for you that will give you a brass bar. There's no limit really to the quests that they can give you every day because it's always a different quest. It's not a repeatable same quest. Now you don't have to do these quests exclusively to get these bars because there's also rare mobs that give them. However, if you want to be more consistent, I would suggest just doing the quests. It's no big deal. It's really easy to do, honestly. It's just the regular quests you already do just with bigger quantities required. Now while you're gathering your bars, there's another couple things you want to get at the same time, or at least I would suggest you get them at the same time. Those items being 30 green arcane stones, one heart of atonement, five empty scrolls, and an essence of whatever element you chose, be it fire, ice, chaos, order. Now the essence and the empty scrolls are pretty straightforward. Just go run strongholds or kill world bosses and they have a chance to drop them in atonement drops. However, each boss drops a specific essence. For fire essence, you need to kill Seraph Demon. For ice essence, you need to kill Artemis. For order essence, you need to kill Isis. And for chaos essence, oh, you guessed it, you gotta kill the Union. So if you're like me and you want the chaos gauntlet, I hope you're kind of masochistic. Now, back to the arcane stones. This is actually really straightforward. You're gonna head over to the Santonia Islands and you're gonna be looking for a pirate named Juni. She's on her little pirate ship on the northern side of the isles. On the map, she's signified by that three people inside a target icon that I mentioned before. The quests are actually really straightforward. The first one is collecting five pieces of rope and all you have to do for that is go around and break boxes around the islands until you have five pieces and then you just return it to her. The second quest is literally the same quest, just instead of five pieces of rope, she wants a birdcage. Just one. So you do the same thing. Destroy boxes till you get a birdcage and bring it back to her. And there you have it. 
you have two green arcane stones. Do these quests on five characters every day, and in three days you have the 30 stones you need. Now after you get your 30 stones, you want to go back to the desert and look for this icon that looks like hands shaking. Inside you're going to find the arcane trader. He's going to charge you 5,000 shards, 50,000 gold, and 10 of those green arcane stones that you got, and turn it all into a purified arcane stone. And just a reminder, you want three purified arcane stones in total for one gauntlet. But wait, you say. Ike, what about the gold bars? You never finish your explanation on that. Well, that's also really simple. Once you have 25 of those brass bars, you're just going to come over to the center of Santonia Island, and you're going to look for these two monks here. One is a brass and silver trader, the other one is a silver and gold trader. Now remember when I said you needed 25 brass bars? That's because it's going to cost you 5 brass bars to make 1 silver bar. And you need 5 silver bars to make 1 gold bar. Now this is going to cost you 5,000 shards and 50,000 gold per transaction of silver bars. And then another 50,000 gold and 5,000 shards for your one transaction of turning silver into gold. Now, for the last item, the Heart of Atonement, it's actually really simple. Like with everything else, there's like a chance to get it from a rare mob. A very, very low chance, I might add. Or you can just get a guaranteed one from this quest here. You want to talk to this black market merchant right here. And he also has the three people inside a target icon, just like the dealers. You can find him just southeast of the UNDC East Camp. Now the quest that he gives you directly does not give the Heart of Atonement. But what he wants you to do is steal a security key from your boss, Major Bitch Tits. So after getting back to HQ and talking to Major Bitch Titch, she pretty much just gives you the item you need. Her quest dialogue and what to do for the rest of this specific quest is completely irrelevant to the Gauntlet quest. So I would just suggest grabbing your Heart of Atonement and just getting out of there. Now after all that is said and done, and you've gotten all your items, and you have all the gold and the shards that you need to do the quest, you're going to come back to Karen. You're going to pay his fee and head back to the center. And now we're back to these four lovely ladies. At this point, it's pretty simple. You just talk to whichever one that you want to make the gauntlet for. You know, fire, ice, chaos, order. And now you just turn in the items. So after you turn in everything for the first quest, which is the 50,000 shards, a gold bar, and engineering plans, you're going to get your gauntlet frame. For the second quest, you're going to need to turn in five empty scrolls, one essence of the element that you chose, chaos, order, fire, ice, and one pure arcane stone. After you do all that, you're going to get a scroll that is specified to the element that you chose. Next, you want to take that element scroll, that heart of atonement you got, and another pure arcane stone, and turn those in. That will give you a stone with the element of your choice. And then for the final quest, it's simple. You just turn in the element stone, the element frame, and the last pure arcane stone that you have, and you have your gauntlet. All right, guys, I hope this was a helpful guide. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can, and I'll see you all in the next one.